This lesson is for section 1.5, translating words into mathematical symbols. So today's objective is to translate a verbal phrase, you know, that might sound uh, like it's going to be tough, but it's not too bad, into a mathematical expression. So we're going to take something in words and then put it into math symbols, essentially. So we're going to fill out this table here. The very first example says the sum of two and a number x. So this is the verbal phrase, so it's written in words, and we're going to basically just um, translate this so that it looks like math. Okay, so we know that the word sum means to add. So the operation here, let's go back and fill this part out here. It says uh, the operation is addition. So the sum of 2 and a number x, we would just write that as 2 plus x. So again, we have addition here, just represented with a different word. Because here it says a number n plus 7. So now we're going to take the variable n and we're going to add 7. Okay, the next example says the difference of a number p and 6. So difference, we remember this from one of our first lessons of the year. Difference means to subtract, so our operation here is subtraction. And again, you'll notice all of these problems in this particular box here are subtraction. We have a number minus 5, and then here, this one's a little trickier, but 5 less than means to subtract as well. So we'll, we'll talk about that one in a second. So let's go back to the, the difference example. So if we're going to find the difference of a number p and 6, we're going to write p minus 6. So that represents the difference between p and 6. So the difference of a number p and 6. Next example, a number y minus 5. So this one's pretty straightforward. We're going to take y and we're going to subtract 5. So that's y minus 5. Okay, our next example here is actually pretty tricky. A lot of students will write this incorrectly. So I want you to pay extra close attention to this particular example. So when you see the words less than, you gotta remember you're gonna switch the order. So most students will forget that and incorrectly they will write this as five minus w, but this does not represent five less than w. This actually represents w less than five. So this is not the correct order that we wanna write this subtraction um, expression in. What we wanna do is start with w and subtract or take away five. So this represents five less than w. Okay, so again, it's really, really important. So you're going to take the number that comes afterwards, actually, and you're going to start with that first, whenever you see less than. And then the number that comes in front is the number that you're taking away from the number that comes behind it. So it is tricky. We'll practice it a bunch of times tomorrow, so you'll get used to it. But please remember, when you see less than, switch the order. The order that you think you would use, go ahead and switch that around. All right, so to continue this chart here, our next two examples here, Let's see, we've got the word times, so I think most of you will know that that's multiplication. And again, we have that word of, and that's also multiplication, so let's just review that word. Sometimes we forget that of means multiplication in math, but uh, you'll see that quite often this year in algebra. All right, the first example says 12 times a number g, so let's go ahead and represent that as 12g. You could also do that as 12 times g, or 12 with parentheses around the g, or parentheses around both. So these are all acceptable for representing 12 times a number g. The next example says one half of a number k. Again, we can just represent that with one half next to the k, or one half times k, or we could even do parentheses around both if we wanted to, one half times k. So all three of these work. Sorry about that, my dogs are going nuts because somebody's home, so uh, you sometimes might hear them in the background. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, the next one. The word quotient appears here. Quotient means, again, division. So we're going to divide here. And again, the order is pretty important here. When it says the quotient of a number m and 2, we're going to rewrite that as m divided by 2, like this. We do not want to write this as m divided by 2 with that old symbol. So we can write that as m over 2, like that. Sometimes you might see it written like this as well. Either one are acceptable. I particularly like this one a little bit more, okay? So I'm going to erase that and keep that as m over 2. So that represents the quotient of m and 2. And the last one, the square of a number b. Okay, this is a little different than what we've seen. We had a lesson on this um, previously. This is a power, okay? So we've got a power. And normally we see this written as a number b squared. So if... Uh, Remember that squaring means you're going to raise that to the power of 2. 
So that's our um, expression here. The square of a number b is b squared. So we're just kind of exposing you to different ways of seeing uh, the same types of things you know, in, in a math sentence. And we're going to try to translate those into math symbols. All right, that's the end of the lesson, guys. Nice job. We'll see you in class tomorrow.